What's up YouTube, it is your boy JB and we are here for some trending topics you guys. So I did tell you guys about trending topics that I would be back and we would discuss Mary Martha Cosby from the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. So before we discuss Mary, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and are not yet subscribed to the channel, then I need you guys to do me a solid favor and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell button, hit all the buttons, light them up. All right, you guys, so without further ado, let's talk about Mary Cosby from the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. All right, you guys, so let's talk about Mary, right? So we all know that, we all know the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, in their first season, they came out the gate swinging and it was a hit, right? And it was a hit because of two, more specifically two people, one person that I really, I can tolerate, the other one, not so much. So Jen and Mary, Jen, Shaw and Mary Cosby. You remember first episode, it was all about who smelled like the hospital, right? <clears throat> so that was a whole running thing for the season that Jen couldn't stand Mary. Who cared, right? So, so my thing, let's talk about it. What are we talking about? Where are we, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, so I'm, 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 I'm talking about, you know, yeah, running thing. Jen and Mary didn't like each other, right? So you guys remember at the reunion, Andy was asking, and this is not even about Jen, but remember at the reunion, Andy asked Jen, what did she do? You know, what did she do? She could never tell what she did, right? So the first lawsuit of the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City was, you know, Jen and her stuff that she's going through. Well, as of yesterday, we found out about another cast member that is going through some legal issues, and that is going to be Mary Martha Cosby. Now, when I heard that Mary has some legal issues, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. When they said Mary has some legal issues, I'm like, oh shit, they finally got the church, huh? I'm like, it's something with that church. Cause you know, that was the thing all season long. People thought that Mary was doing some, you know, I I illegal stuff when it comes to, you know, <laughs> when it comes to her, her church, right? So it wasn't with the church, right? So I, I did some research into it, right? And we found out that Mary and her son are both being charged, right? So what it is, is Mary and her son are being charged <clears throat> with providing shelter to a runaway and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. <clears throat> and both of these charges are misdemeanors, right? So I don't think Mary has as much to worry about with hers like Jen. <clears throat> And speaking of which, so when Jen had her issues earlier this year, they had just started filming for Salt Lake City season two and they were getting ready for a cast trip. So we know that this whole season of Salt Lake City is probably is probably going to be reminiscent of what the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is going through currently with the Erica and Tom situation. So I'm pretty sure season two of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City is gonna, you know, surround itself with the with the stuff with Jen. But now, because I was thinking about it, I'm like, you know, filming for Real Housewives of Salt Lake City season two has already wrapped. <clears throat> I think the thing is, I think filming for season two of Salt Lake City and filming of Potomac season six, they kind of filmed, they stopped filming around the same time. So at this point, Salt Lake City is in post-production. So I was like, damn, they didn't catch any of this with Mary on camera. But according to Jay's reality blog, he did say, <clears throat> like I said a minute ago, we all know Jen's stuff is going to play out in season two. But he, he does say that Mary's stuff will play out in season two as well. Because according to the documents that are found in the Salt Lake City Justice Court, it lists the incident date as April the 8th, 2021. So that they were filming. And then also it said that, you know, I was typing fast. So it also says that she went to court. Well, she didn't go to court. It says that she pled guilty to both counts on June 28th. So now that part, I don't know. Cause I can't, <clears throat> I don't remember exactly when Salt Lake City film finished film season two, but I'm pretty sure we'll definitely discuss the situation with Mary in season two. But I'm, I'm still, are you guys shocked that it's, well, let me get let me go ahead and read these charges to you guys again. She's being charged with providing shelter to a runaway 
and contributing to a delinquent, the delinquency. Get the words together. Get your words together, JB. She's been charged with providing shelter to a runaway and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. How many about? I'm like, I really, I'm, I'm shocked that it has nothing to do with that damn church. So maybe the church is on the up and up. I mean, I still question that church. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. After watching season one, I just still question that church. I got a big question mark for the church. Then, too, I would just never go to Mary's church on top of that. I think that's really what it is. I would just never in my life set foot in Mary's church. No shade to Mary. Just would never set foot in your church, girlfriend. It ain't for me. The way you talk to your parishioners, especially that one that you told him he gained some weight and he needs to drink some water. I would have told you how about you get your, when you get your wigs together, I'll get my weight in order. And even when you get your wigs together, I'm still going to be this same fat ass. That girl, go to hell. But I will say one thing about Mary. I noticed, because they've, they've shown pictures of them filming season two, right? Her wigs, they look better, right? Her wigs look better. So I'm guessing she probably got them from, because I mean, I'm, I'm thinking that there can be, I mean, there might be black people in Salt Lake City, but are there black people who know how to do black people's hair? Because the wigs that Mary wore in season one were atrocious, right? So I'm hoping season two is a lot better. But I mean, still look at some of the Potomac ladies. Their wigs are not the best, i.e. Giselle. But so let's talk about um, what it says about the, char the two charges that she's facing, right? So it says that the total recommended fine for both of the, I don't know if this is both of the charges, if it's just one. But even if it, if, it, if it's both of them or if it's one, it's really not that bad. It's 1380 for the charges. So I don't know if that's together or if that's separately. So if it's separate, then, you know, it's just 1380. But if it's together, still not bad. Hell, I know Mary got the money. Ooh. Mm. Thinking about the money. Shit, she wants. <sighs> that's why I keep going back and forth, right, you guys? Like, that's why I keep going back and forth with Mary. It's like, you can, I'm pretty sure she can pay, but you know what? Maybe she got a fund just for her Real Housewives of Salt Lake City paycheck. But I can't imagine that Salt Lake City in their first season was making that much money per episode. But I'm pretty sure they were getting, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they were making more than 1300 well, they said that, um, Latoya Ali was making $1,000 an episode, and she was a friend of... Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. Mary. Mary Cosby. You know. You know what? When I keep thinking about it, the the delinquency of a minor, and you were providing shelter to a runaway. Is that Robert Jr.'s little girlfriend that he has had? That he was buying them expensive gifts from. I'm really surprised that a church, the, the 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 pastor of the church, allowed that. If it's if it is his girlfriend, you let them live in sin in your house. But what kind of mm, Mary Martha Cosby, Miss Mary Martha? Interesting name, right? Mary Martha Cosby. I would have thought it would have been Mary Ann Cosby, but Mary Martha, M M C. Mary Martha. All right, you guys, that's all I got for you. I ain't got, I, I'm not, I can't go in on this one like I did when Jen. I think the reason why I went in on Jen is because I just didn't care for, I don't care for Jen. I don't care for Jen. I'm, yeah, Jen is not my favorite. You guys know that. Mary is not my favorite either. I'm going to put that, I'm going to preference that because a lot of people are like, but you like Mary. I don't like Mary. I just thought Mary was kooky. Mary, Mary is kooky. And Mary was Mary. The thing that was what it was for me with Mary. Mary was herself. Her aunt. I, although I do believe Mary lied a lot on camera, but Mary was her, who she was. Like she didn't. She didn't put. I don't think Mary put on for the cameras. Whereas Jen. Then Jen. I'm about to say Jen Scott. That's from Power Rangers. Jen Shaw. Whereas Jen Shaw. I just literally feel. That Jen put on for the cameras. I still to this day, you can't pay me to believe that when Salt Lake City was announced and they cast for Salt Lake City, I just really believe that Jen, when she got cast for season 
one of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. I feel like Jen did everything she could to make sure that she was the breakout star of the show. Like I said before, Jen Shaw gave me a Leanne Locken from the Real Housewives of Dallas. Because, I mean, we all know that Jen, like the, the, the chalet that she lived in, that was a rental. And Brandy, um, Brandy, what is her last name? Brandy Redmond here from, from here from here in Dallas said one of the Salt Lake City ladies was renting a house. And Jen, like the, you know, the, um, Jen, like the hit dog she is, she hollered. And it turned out her house was a damn rental. But I'm not even talking about Jen. But yeah, I don't, I think that Jen has a far worse case than what Mary does. But I feel like with Jen, I think I know what Jen's motive is going to be. She's going to probably put it on Stu. It's probably going to be all on Stu. And that would be sad if she does it to that old ass man. But that's it, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about Mary's charges. Let me just, let's just talk about it. Let's, let's run down that stuff, right? That's it, you guys. Be safe, you guys. Have a great weekend. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Wear a mask, you guys. If you choose not to, just be safe. Be blessed. And I'll see you guys later. Deuces, guys.